your eminences graces excellencies dear monsignors reverend fathers and sisters at the 34th plenary assembly of the ccbi we are reflecting on telling the story of jesus the beauty of jesus story is that once we begin to know it it begins to know us and transform us the bible is a story the story becomes meaningful only when we understand it i am here to tell you the story of the ccbi commission for bible the seed of bible apostolate in the church in india was sown in 1988 when the commission for christian life was born together with the conference of catholic bishops of india ccbi from the sapling in 2003 a blade was cut off and planted a new since then the plant has been nurtured by four chairmen the present one being most reverend anthony sami peter abir with the member bishops most reverend t joseph rajarao smm and most reverend john rodriguez the roots began to spread across india as the chairman and the executive secretaries put their hearts and minds to take bible to the people and to bring people to the bible training programs seminars workshops meetings brainstorming sessions exhibitions competitions quizzes and classes were conducted at the national regional diocesan and parish levels the word of god has been celebrated translated printed and distributed this is the first phase of biblical apostolate in the second phase two key things happened in 2017 the english standard version catholic edition was published the text was adopted into lectionary and in 2020 st paul's bible college was launched these two works brought a lot of visibility to the commission now we have a standard bible and the college the third phase has begun now the esv catholic edition has reached many through lectionary and st paul's bible college has attracted 1200 students to enroll biblical pastoral ministry can never be the same today why in india our present biblical pastoral ministry has three problems one we are still at the level of conducting quizzes competitions workshops and seminars after quizzes competitions workshops and seminars the bible is forgotten because it has just remained an intellectual exercise the bible has not touched our lives how many of us own a personal bible do we hear god's word in it how many follow ups we had two we use same methods for all people but people are different places are different what is relevant to one group may not be relevant to another three the bible and its explanation is reserved only to us the clergy and the religious we conduct programs and lay faithful attend the programs we have not equipped the lay faithful enough to own the word of god to understand it and to interpret it the veritatis gaudium a document regulating ecclesiastical institutes has made it nearly impossible for the lay faithful to step into theological institutes unless they are ready to spend 5 years for pth the document for the continental stage already has reflected about word of god centered celebrations to devalue clericalism and to encourage the participation of the lay faithful in liturgical celebrations there has been growing lethargy among priests and religious to read the word of god and it reflects in their shallow homilies the bible is studied in seminaries and formation houses merely to fulfill academic requirements after the strategic planning meet in may 2022 where the commission revised its vision and mission statements 
the commission for bible has now only one idea that is st paul's bible college this idea will initiate a revolution how st paul's bible college which was begun as an online program has now gone postal new programs such as learning biblical hebrew new testament greek interpretative methods lectio divina lenten lectio advent lectio inner freedom retreat special workshops on synodality st joseph and mary are undertaken the lay faithful are enthusiastic about it and they wish that st paul's bible college becomes a degree granting biblical institute it offers scope to reach out to formation houses and seminaries we are now evolving a program for the novices of women religious congregations in india the college is now creating a textbook on biblical interpretation which could be used in all the seminaries we will soon collaborate with different commissions st paul's bible college has its presence in social media such as facebook instagram and youtube the commission publishes a bimonthly newsletter recently we conducted a joint workshop on intertextual reading of sacred scriptures through which we made the bible interact with scriptures of other faiths paving way for interfaith dialogue besides creating resources for the celebration of the word of god sunday the commission has been involved in promoting translation in local languages we did translation verification testing for the new community bible the mundari bible and the ho bible our immediate plans are the following one creating a database of indian biblical scholars that is collecting their research works two establishing an interfaith scriptural library and three foreign language learning through bible reading soon losservatore romano and time magazine may have a cover page like this if st paul's bible college goes physical it would read ccbi bible institute for all a dream comes true since it is our college that creates finance for our commission we will make it fruitful and multiply therefore we appeal to you make this college go physical our proposal to the floor dear local ordinaries is the following our visits to madhya pradesh jharkhand telugu regions our quarterly meetings with regional secretaries and religious partners in fact establish networking and collaboration therefore help us strengthen networking at the diocesan and the regional levels ensure appointment of the secretaries and continuity of their works encourage bible translation and revision in local languages talk about bible about bible commission and above all about st paul's bible college wherever you go may god's word be all to all this is the vision of our commission together let us say yeah!